Hello everyone, Daniels here and in this tutorial we're going to start working on Enterprise Java Beans in practice. So let's start by creating a new project, new the dynamic web project. If we don't see it here, we can go to other and search for web and then in web we will find dynamic web project. I'm going to choose it, click next. Let's call our project EJB1. Make sure that the target runtime is Glassfish 4. Then we can just click next and accept all the default settings. There we go, Eclipse has created our project for us, our dynamic web project. And now we can add Enterprise Java Beans to our project. Let's see how we do it. In source, let's create a new package. In that package, we will put our EJB classes. So let's create a new package for those EJB classes. Let's call it com.airline.service. And let's click finish. Now in the com airline service package, let's create our enterprise Java bean class, our first enterprise Java bean class. Right click, click on new, other, search for EJB, enter several options here. Let's select the session bin option. All right, I selected the session bin option. I'm going to click next. In the class name, let's call this flight service. Let's make sure that the state type of the bin is stateless. I'm going to explain more on the differences between the different bin types. As you can see, there are three bin types here, stateless, stateful, and singleton. And I'm going to explain more on each of them. I'm going to explain actually each of them in detail later on. But for now, let's just select stateless. And here, let's make sure that no interface view is marked. Check mark here, no interface view. Click next and accept all the default accept all the default settings here and click finish there we go now we have our class flight service class which is also an enterprise java bean what makes it an enterprise java bean is those two annotations right here let's explain each of them in detail in more detail Stateless bin declares this enterprise Java bean to be a stateless session bean. I'm going to talk about the differences between the different kinds of session beans a little bit later on. So, the, but for now, we can just see that the stateless annotation marks this EJB class as a stateless session bean. Local bin annotation means that the, this bean can only be accessed locally by applications that are running on the same Java environment. So in other words, with this local bin annotation means that you cannot access this flight service bin from a completely different computer over a network. You can only access this bin directly from the same application. So the local B annotation limits the way to access the bin to the current application. The current application can access the bin, but remote applications and remote computers may not. All right. Now, as I mentioned, a bin is simply a Java class, so which has instance variables and methods. Okay, so let's create some instance variables and methods and for this uh, for this particular bean so i'm going to create first of all some instance variables some properties for this class those properties you can imagine represent information about a flight properties that store information about a particular flight so from is the from destination so let's say it's the flight is from LA. Uh, so you know what I, I wanted to make those properties private, huh? not 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 public, but rather I want I, I prefer to make them private. There we go. 
So string to is the destination of the flight, private integer price. That is, for example, the price of the flight in dollars. And there we go. Next is, let's say we have a number of seats on this flight. So let's say we have 250 seats on the flight. And there we go. And then we can have the airplane model for the flight, the airplane that will be used for this flight. So for example, we could have a default value for this instance variable to be Boeing 787. There we go. We have our instance variables and we even gave them default values. The next step is we want for each of our instance variables, we want to create a getter and a setter for each variable. We can type the getters and the setters by hand, but it's much easier to just right click, go to source, and then go to generate getters and set, generate getters and setters, and select all our different properties, all our different instance variables, and click OK. Now, as you can see, Eclipse generated the code for us. I, t I pressed Control Shift F to format the code a little bit better. And there we go. Now we can see our instance variables and we can see the getters and setters for those instance variables. When we create an enterprise Java bean, we want to have getters and setters for each of our properties, for, for our various properties. Let me say a few things about the getters and setter methods for our properties. So let's take the from property as an example from Los Angeles. Okay, so the getter method is a method that returns the value from, returns the value from, and that's why we call it a getter. It gets the value of the instance variable and returns it, return from. The setter, on the other hand, is a method to take that takes a new value of from, say, from New York, and then sets the value of from to be New York. So a setter allows us, is a method that allows us to set a new value on an instance variable. Okay, one last thing here is, let's right click and go again to source and generate a to string method. The string method, uh, there we go. Let's select all our different fields. And now if we click OK, we're going to see that when we try to print, when we try to do a system out dot print lane on the flight service object, then it's going to be printed in a nice way. The flight service object will give us a printout of all the different properties that it has and the values of those properties. So just a nicer way to print the object without overriding to string. If we try to print a flight service object, then I'm just going to print the memory location of the object. So it's not going to be a very useful printout information. Now with this to string, if we ever print an instance of the flight service class, we're going to have an, this nice printout with all the, val all the different properties that it has and their values. With this, we created our bean and we will continue working on this in the next tutorial. So in this tutorial, in this tutorial, we just created our bean class and we marked it with the stateless annotation to make it a stateless session bean. I will describe more on what this means in future tutorials. And we have this local bean annotation, as I said, meaning that this session bin, this flight service bin, can only be accessed locally. So it can be accessed from within our application, within our EJB1 application, but it cannot, cannot be accessed from a remote computer, from a remote server that wants to connect to our application. The only way to access this bin is from within our application itself. Okay, so this is the local bin annotation. All right, great. Thank you very much. And we will continue in the next tutorial.